So I was looking at my bag of old like lug nuts and everything that came with the, the OEM uh, car. And I was looking at these two, like look at this. <laughs> I have two entire um, bolts and like and like washers that are just stripped. That's because I didn't even know like which which way was tight and which way was loosened. So I think I was just tightening and then eventually just broke. Um, I I have no idea what these two are from. I'm guessing from the front bumper if I remember correctly, but that's hella funny. <laughs> um, this is a little heavy. So we will see how that works. If I hear anything when I drive, then it's over. I want to take this off first because I like these gaps. Like, it's kind of bothering me, you know what I mean? Um, this side isn't as bad, but the other side is terrible. So this is going to be a little clip of just me taking this off and heating this up so all the 3M tape comes off. You know, I was second guessing myself, but it just came off, so okay. Oh man. These are straight up just paint chips. What the heck? Oh, damn. Oh, look, it just holds all the rocks. <laughs> Alright, and for the ones that don't come out, like these, let's see. Like these ones that are a little like thin. Just use a rubber wheel. That's what I use. It works pretty well. Alright, is this recording? Hello, hello? So I hope it is, I'm not sure it's focusing, but if you guys can see the quality is a little different. So I'm actually on my camera now. I actually got a brand new lens uh, from Marketplace, so kind of brand new, but I'm just testing it out. So <laughs> let's cut to what I'm actually gonna be talking about. So this morning I actually woke up on Marketplace and I was like, huh, I've been wanting a roof rack for a while and I haven't been able to find a good one or even a good deal. So I finally found this one. Not just one, um, I do have the other one, but the second one in the rear here, you guys can see. But the reason I had this one on is because he showed me how, how to how to put it on and how it works and everything. And he's a really cool dude. But yeah, I just want to show you guys a little bit of it. I'm super excited because look at this. I wanted to put a bike. I just haven't had a place on my car to actually put the bike, you know. So I'm super happy about this now. It looks super good. Yo, yo, low key, like, I think it's pretty heat, right? Like. I love like the roof racks with like bikes or like um, the box and then the big boxy box. You know what I'm talking about? But it's kind of heat, no? I need to find the second one. Oh yeah. So uh, let me show you guys this one thing, bro. So I accidentally forgot to air out yesterday or air up when I was driving. I drove like five feet and then it banged up my fender. So. I'm just going to leave that right there for now, but you know, it happens sometimes, you know what I mean? Sometimes you forget. Um, after I got my alignment, the camera was sitting a little weird. It was like tucked into the fenders, and so it like bends the fenders when I air all the way out. So today, I'm just doing a little project. First, unfortunately, I forgot my drill, or I let my neighbor borrow it. So, we're just using this, <laughs> this as of today, just to un, um, loosen the wheels before we get up in the air, so. All right, so while I'm here, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, so, let's see, can you even see it? Okay, if you can see here, these screws here, they're, they're not like super sharp, but they're sharp enough where I don't want them to touch the bag, you know, like, and there's like three of them. There's one here, and then two on this side. So I'm like, what the heck? Like. I don't want that anywhere near the bag just cause you know, you know, you guys know how bags are. Like the reliability on them isn't always awesome and I don't want anything even getting close to the bags. Luckily, this is like, before it was like a finger away, but now it's like three fingers. So that means I should be able to adjust the camera on this without it affecting much um, or even touching the bag. So we're gonna be able to do that today. Luckily here, my handy dandy toolbox, we have a whole set of, I think what are these, hex, hex keys? Yeah, something like this. And then these just go on top of the camber plates on the air struts. So loosen these four, then move it. And I'm not sure if I need to show you guys, I feel like people have seen this mostly before, but I'll try to record it. Okay, bruh, this is not safe. Look this little, <laughs> but I love these two. They gotta be the features of my videos, the highlights of them. <laughs> Alright, step up under the car, okay? I don't want you guys getting hurt. Once you push it decently all the way in, or to what you want, 
in here, make sure that the, none of the screws are touching, see? So, hey, move, I don't want you to get hurt. So, none of these screws are touching the bag, luckily. Um, even all the way in like that. It's like, still a good amount of way, you know? So you want to make sure that, that, you want to make sure that's the case, just so that your bags never get damaged or pop. Because that's the last thing you want to do. To be stranded in a Camry on the highway. <laughs> yeah, basically. Basically how it looked like was that it was pushing right against here. And that's why I have this little thing here. It was pushing like right against here. And it was causing this whole thing to bend inwards because of the pressure here. And then pushing this bumper to bend outwards. So to fix that, I need to add more camber. Which is fine because it's only like a degree or two. And it should be able to fix it. We'll see when, when we lower the tire car. finished so you guys see now so I had another degree basically and look at that look at that it's, it's sitting definitely flush now um we're not flush sorry tucked now so it's definitely tucked inside of the fender liner here but it's perfect you know like it's, you guys see this it's not hitting the, the fender anymore it's not going to cause this anymore and I will be able to fix this in the future just to heat it up and bang it out but this is perfect you know it's sitting exactly where I want it to be and that is that is great look at that Yep, look at that. Sitting nice, sitting nice. But yes, yeah, so last thing, like I said, make sure to just screw these in again, because now it's on the ground now, a little more pressure, and that should be all. All right, everyone, turns out I'm not done for the day. So another another problem that I've had, <laughs> I've had recently is that my side skirt is completely broken. I hit the OEM one a long time ago when I first got the car, and it caused it to kind of not be flush with the rest of the car. You can fix it to make it look a lot better. <laughs> All right, so honestly, most of it is mostly fixed. I just re-screwed everything. Some of the tabs didn't go back in, but should be fine. Only thing is that this is still like kind of gappy. There's still a gap here. I don't really know what to do for this. You can't really, I might just push it in and like tape it up. Maybe 3M tape, I don't know. I don't really want to put another tap it here. Um, so honestly, we'll, we'll just tape it. We'll see. This is honestly the best it's going to get. <laughs> I actually have no idea if this is going to get any better. But it feels a lot sturdier than it did before. So it's not like shaking decent enough. Decent enough for for me to not be, to not like cringe about it. Ooh, actually one more thing I forgot. Um, so with this, if you guys haven't seen, so this is the roof rack I got. Uh, I think it's in the same video here, but I got that off Marketplace for $200. A little bit expensive, but it should be fine. But uh, the whole point of it was to actually have a bike on it. And then I picked this one up, this bike rack, from the same brand from Thule, um, off of Marketplace for another $40. Unfortunately, this one was like all the way in Redwood City, so it was a little far, but I still got it. So let's actually mount it and show you guys how it looks. All right, so this is actually the last part, 100%. But here it is. How's it looking? What do you guys think? So originally, Loki, I thought it was just kind of weird with just the roof rack, but with a bike rack, it adds a little blackness again, you know. So my whole entire color, color scheme is just black and white. And so overall, it looks really good. And for forty dollars, the bike rack is actually useful. So later, when uh, I get back into biking, which I will, that's the whole point of buying this. I'll put it up on here and then go out for some rides, you know. So. I really like this. The only thing I do want is a windscreen. But that's like brand new is like a hundred and then used on marketplace is like 70. I'm like bro, like come on, give it to me for like 20, you know what I mean? Some low ballers, but 